Hey everybody, this first uh, video on the new channel. I'm still working out what's going to be on here and uh, how I'm going to present things, but one thing I did want to do real quick was a quick video on some new uh, hardware and software that I have been playing with. Um, I just got a CNC router and a laser combo from Onefinity and JTEC Laser which is pretty cool and uh, it's actually a bit of a game changer when it comes to doing a project that has both of those elements. It's now so easy to do both of those and make sure everything's in line like it's supposed to be versus the old way of doing a carve and then maybe opening up Lightburn and trying to figure out if you have all your settings correct because um, it's a different program. So with these two uh, pieces of hardware and then using VCarve's um, uh, laser add-on, you can just use the laser as an extra tool and don't have to change anything and don't have to worry about there being any problems with how it gets set up. So wanted to show a quick video of that uh, on a very first project I've used with both. This is a router organization a tray for my tool, a tool chest and um, which is just finished as you can see there and I am going to uh, engrave some names and labels on there in just a second. So I am putting the laser on right now and getting that set up and then it'll be just a second. And I literally just got this set up today and just hooked it up today. So this is one of the first few cuts that I've made with it. And so far, I'm pretty impressed. I'm actually pretty excited to get to use it a little bit, see what I can do with it in the future. So, to set the Z, this. use the little tool there. Which comes with it, of course. And you bring it down so that it just barely touches. So we should be able to slide it back and forth still. So it just grabbed it. We'll go up just a little bit so I can still slide it. There we go. Then, in order to get the X and Y correct for the laser, you have to do a couple of things. So of course you have to turn the laser on. Switch your tool over to laser and save that. Let's go to control. Now we go down here. Cancel that, sorry. Got ahead of myself. Go to MDI first. And the command to fire the laser at low setting is M3 S10. And you can see that my laser has fired, but it's not nearly strong enough to burn the wood. So, bring this over. Make sure you're in the right place. 
right where your bit was. And sorry, I gotta put my glasses on to see this. Okay, that should be pretty good. So we're gonna go home that and home that Z. And I'm gonna shut the laser off, which is either the M5 command or just stop does it as well. Move this out of the way. Now we'll go back to auto load up my file which should be laser cut and I am going to go turn on my air assist and we'll be good to go Don't forget your glasses. It's nice to have eyeballs for later, you know, in case you ever want to use them again. All right. Make sure cords are out of the way. As I said, this is the first time I've gotten it all hooked up, so my cord management kind of sucks, but I'm gonna work on that. Here we go. So even though I did a test on MDF earlier, unfortunately the numbers are not coming out very bright. So the good thing about this whole system is that you can stop it and go back and change your settings and then do it again and see how it looks without messing up your project. So that's what I'll go do, and I'll be back in a second. So this is the test that I did uh, a little bit earlier, which seems to show 60% power and about 180 would be a good good enough to show up, but that's what shows up when I actually run that, which you can barely see. So all I did was, instead of increasing the power, I just increased, excuse me, slowed down the speed and reloaded that. So go back in here, and the great thing is that since nothing moved, I don't have to do any more Z's or anything. Make sure the right thing is there. Turn my air assist back on. And go again. There you go. You can see that a bit better. You can see what's forming. And now just let it finish. And we're good to go. And I didn't have to move the piece or worry too much about the whole setup because it was already set up. 
I think I'm gonna like it.